Hey, Shadow. Hi. Hi. We're not in the garden. What's his teeth look like, Mia? They, they're like, they have like two fangs on the side. <laughs> Get what? Hooks? Hooks? Yeah, From where? Lopsided, but it's there, there. Maybe we should turn to the side so the sun raises that way. The sun comes from uh, right uh, that way. The last Nipples is hanging down like more pokey than usual, right, Aiden? Aiden. Hmm. Yeah, they're a little poke, baby. She cold. <laughs> now she upset. No, like they're they're a little more hangy, so. Hmm. That's a good little space, though. I mean, she is. One of the things. When she's scheduled to give birth again, Aiden? Do you remember? Valentine's? Oh, yeah. yeah, you did. Valentine's, piggies, and. So I guess, what is that, a month? Valentine's Six weeks? Pooches. Yeah, it's coming up real fast. It's gonna be here before we know it. Are you ready for baby pigs? Mm hmm. Ready or not, here they come? Yeah. But are you ready for them? I mean, part of life, so it's another thing to handle. <laughs> we have to get another, uh, what is it called? Fence. Pen. Oh, friends, you said? Yeah, to separate the mom and her babies when they're born. Mm -hmm. What are you about to go do? Yeah, I'm going inside. I'm going inside. Now everything's, everything's done and we're trying to get done. Come, Come on, Jade. Jade, Jade let Winter go. He ain't leaving. No, winter is not letting go. I know, that's what I said. No, you said Jade, you said Jade let, let Winter go. go. Oh, Winter, let Jade go. Winter, calm down. Jade, come on. Come on, Jade. Yeah, I'm gonna do a hindquarz out here, girl. Good girl. Right, she peed in the cage. That's, you already clean it, or no? You can pedal. Let me see. You gotta face it this way. Watch out for the. Okay, go. There you go. Good job. Good job, man. Yeah. Good job. Are you so happy for your bike? Yeah. I've been coming in here almost every day keeping an eye on these broccolis and every day they are getting bigger. I have no idea what happened here. Maybe a cat was in this bed because 
These leaves were not like this the other day. These patches definitely caught a bunch of those little gnats, which is nice. Still waiting on a sugar snap pea. Been keeping my eye open. Ah, this is the first one. Oh my goodness. Yay, finally. It's like three. Oh. I feel like it's taken so long. Look how long this one is to get a sugar snap pea. It froze last night. On the, we didn't know. I didn't know it was going to freeze last night. But then today I woke up and we got ready for uh, we got ready for church and it said it was 31 degrees and then by the time we were getting ready it dropped down to 30. Um, which I had the greenhouse closed so nothing to worry about there. We just wasn't expecting it. I didn't remember seeing that on the forecast that there was going to be a freeze. Usually when we get home from church we're, it's usually already like 2 o'clock. I think right now it's probably like 3.30 or 4. And so we usually come straight home and then take care of animals. And then if there's anything that we want to do, no, you can't come in here. If there's anything that we want to do, we'll take care of animals first and then go back out and take care of animals. <laughs> Jade's trying to get in. She's trying to jump the fence in and get in here with me. Um, so yeah, so I turned on my camera after the fact, but we came home because today is our monthly, at the beginning of every month, we do animal like maintenance. And so we um, take care of our goats. No, Jade, leave the cat. We, um, yeah, we do animal maintenance. And so um, today's actually the 31st, but when I'm filming this, but happy new year to see you guys. I, um, and so since my husband was off and he's going to be off tomorrow too, I figure since we were already outside because we moved the pigs and so we needed to move their house as well. You guys saw that at the beginning of the video that we were, or my husband and my son was moving the ha the pig house and then the, they ripped the tarp and broke it. And so we were giving them a new one, just protection from the sun. Um, and we have to like fill animals waters because this morning everything was frozen and so they had limited water so when we came home we just gave them more food water um we dewormed the goats that needed weren't dewormer and gave them some minerals um there weren't any eggs to collect so basically just this is like our monthly uh, maintenance on the farm is when we like check all of our goats we actually ended up losing one of our goats unexpectedly i think two days ago um but that was the goat that got attacked and we thought she was like we did give her antibiotics and stuff and thought that she was out of the woods and i think it was like two days ago we came out and she had passed um and so i don't think she ever really fully recovered and um she I didn't see her acting weird or anything like that and so it was still pretty much a shock but she passed away um and so we were just checking out other goats I don't think it was like worms or anything like coccidiosis or anything like that because all the other goats you check their like eyelid and all of them look fine and so I think it was just her getting attacked by that that dog it's still really really unfortunate it's been a hard year um, I'm so glad to go into this new year and and it's almost time to start seeds. I went to the, what's it called? The, um, what's that place called? The nursery to get compost. Um, and I saw online that they had starter soil, which it said potting soil in bulk. And I was gonna get it, but then when I got there, it was like really, really woody. Um, and so I opted out not getting it. So this year, I think I'm just gonna start all of my seeds in peat moss. And so I did pick up um, a container of peat moss and I do have some vermiculite and perlite and I think I'm just gonna mix it together like that 
I want to start seeds my last or when I'm supposed to start seeds according to like the farmer's almanac um, when they recommend is I can start seeds as early as January 9th um, I talked about that in a um, a video actually let me go get my book and I'll show you guys so I have this homesteading planner that I didn't really use last year to the fullest, but it had this garden layout and so I broke it up into different areas. And so this is my log raised bed and I just put at the side all of the uh, seeds that I want to start for flowers and I still have my asparagus there. But then here is my regular uh, raised bed and then my in ground right here and all of these green highlights is where i put landscape fabric down already so that i would know how many more beds and then i kind of just planned what i wanted in each bed and where my new hoops were gonna my hoops were gonna be but over here is where um over here is where i can start january 9th i put every two weeks so it's january 9th January 23rd, February 6th, February 20th, or yeah, February 20th, um, and I put the week. So it starts from 12 weeks, 10 weeks, 8 weeks, 6 weeks, 4 weeks, 2 weeks, and 0 weeks, and then 2 weeks after my last estimated frost. Although our U.S. Um, DA like growing zone didn't change we're still zoned 8b here in coastal south carolina they did move up my last estimated frost for the past years all the years that i've been gardening it's always been the first week of april it's been like april 7th 2nd even if we've had a, fr a late frost or anything like that or if it's been earlier this year they actually moved it up to the week before and so now it is going to be march 27th i'm not going to go by that because last year it's still it had a last frost on April 2nd and the year before that it had like a uh, late frost in like the mid April so I'm still gonna go by April 2nd but according to the farmers almanac it did um, uh, move up to April 27th and when I planned wrote all this stuff down I did basis base it off of April 2nd um, and so when I put like zero weeks it's on April 2nd and not the week before which would be uh, March 27th and so I just went down and looked at my seed packets and wrote um, what I can start 12 weeks, what can I start 10 weeks, 8 weeks, 6 weeks. And so like 12 weeks is always peppers. And I'm probably still going to do that again except for um, I'm going to be very hesitant in starting as many tomatoes as I did. As well as just trying this year I want to try more varieties that can... Um, grow in like a drought or like really really hot and humid um previous years i've just tried all different types of tomatoes all different varieties to see like what grew and then now since it's my third growing season i figured i would kind of like hone that in and so i limited myself and went through my seed packets the other day and um just planned how many seeds i was going to pack up uh, plant from like determinate cherries um dwarf um beef steak stuff like that so that's how I broke that down and then I'm looking at my my thing right here oh I can plant celery at 12 weeks um, any kind of uh, perennial herb like oregano rosemary thyme um, eggplant is all that at 12 weeks and interesting it's like um, broccoli and cabbage they tell me according to the farmers Armanac, to not plant it till my 10 week mark um, which I would think that I could plant it at my 12 week marks just be mark just because it's a cold hardy plant anyway and I have some of them growing inside of my hoop house you saw and last year when I was looking at pictures I had some of them growing out into the garden and they did completely fine um so yeah <laughs> I know that this is like totally totally um I, like I've never sat here and just talked with you guys before but this is what we got going on today and this is what I was waiting to come home and do was just to come home and garden plan and to um and then we got home and then realized we had animal stuff to do but now that I'm free for the rest of the day um I am going to be garden planning and looking at um I've already like I said picked out all of my tomato varieties um 
and I based it off of I based it off of if it said it was going to like a lot that said drought or that didn't split because I don't plan on having irrigation in my whole garden but I'm gonna at least start with my back beds I've said this previously and um I'm not great at watering so I tried to pick varieties that said it was good for I want to take you guys outside good for that they wouldn't split because that's why tomatoes split is when they don't get watered and then they get watered and then they split like that way I can't really um do anything out in the garden yet because you guys saw last time we were in the garden I ran out of garden staples um and I did end up finding about like 10 more so I was able to lay down a second um layer of fabric but I went ahead I could not find the landscape uh staples I heard my daughter screaming and then I didn't know what was going on. I think she said one of my German Shepherd was trying to chase a chicken. Um, but anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, about the tarp so or the landscape fabric. So I did um, lay down a second layer of landscape fabric up here. Which is right here. Um, and it actually had went all the way out to basically all the way out but I don't have enough fabric to finish or staples I don't know how are you Nia bored how are you Nia Sick, so I got off. So the sickness is wearing off now. Oh, you got motion sickness? Yeah. Hmm. You're not going to play outside? You all done? Are you guys going to stay up till midnight? Yeah. You going to watch the ball drop? Did we watch the ball drop last year? I don't know. I think, wait, you said yes. Because last week we couldn't stay up. Last week? I said last year. Oh. Last did we watch the ball drop last year? You did. Aiden, did we watch the ball drop last year? Did we watch the ball drop last year? I don't know. You don't remember? We were talking about this ball dropping. Hmm. And not Naomi and Naomi. No, well, I feel like I think y'all did stay up last year. I'm from New York, so watching the ball drop was always like a tradition. Um, obviously, because I was in New York, so watching the ball drop was like it's right there in Madison Square. Is it Madison Square? I think it's Madison Square. I haven't, th I haven't thought about it in a long time. That just came out, so I hope that's right. But, <laughs> but um, we might watch the ball drop. I'm kind of really tired, so if I take a nap. Um, I may wake up and then be feeling awake enough to watch the ball drop. We don't have anything going on tomorrow, so we can definitely probably, um, I'm at outside of the house, so we could probably stay up, watch the ball drop, have a lazy morning in tomorrow and still be good. So I'm going to have to part ways with you guys. My battery had died. That's why I came inside unexpectedly. Um. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.